Some see my true niggas in the wall to talk to so I don't need no point to try to be open. Yo, Mark's Fresno, Tennessee, let me talk street stop. Omaha, Nebraska. Guys, do you remember uh, we got the B2 Ecstasy 15 here? Uh, 20,000 watts, burp, 5,000 continuous, uh, four gauge inputs. We're going to run double out gauge to those inputs just for fun. And then uh, you remember we got the B2 Quattro for the mids and highs. And then now to unbox the amp that will be powering this sub, or actually unveil, it's already been unboxed. But yeah, as you can see, here's the quattro size, and then here's the amp for the Ecstasy 15. All right. What we have here is the Sony Explode 600 watt amp. It's a uh, four channel, so it's gonna do 60 watts times four. So that's gonna give us, that's gonna give us a good 120,000 watts per coil or so based off of Sony's ratings. Um, check out the back. It's got a nice silver. And then the heat sink. But yeah, so anyways, uh, stay tuned. This should, with the explode name, it should explode the car on that driver. So stay tuned. This thing opened up. Uh, this is something that has been in the works for approximately 25 years. Um, basically, what we have right here is the most amazing subwoofer that mankind has ever seen in history. Uh, what we're looking at here is 15,000 watts RMS and then uh, 30,000 watt burst. You could do 60,000 watts for a split second, uh, but you don't want to uh, do it for more than like, you know, one or two seconds or something like that. Uh, the coil is made of pure silver and it's made, uh, the magnet is actually constructed from a radioactive meteorite. All right. Hey, can you give me a hand? Yeah. All right. Got it? I got it. Okay, look at that. This basket is actually uh, hand-woven titanium. Um, we went with blue in the surrounds because blue does add 10 dB if, as long as you paint the inside of your box black. Look at that beautiful construction. Single voice coil, 8 ohm. Uh, you don't want to wire this any lower than 8 ohm because it'll completely blow your car. Well, uh, here's my enclosure. Again, I haven't put the Easter egg basket uh, ports on yet or brushed the layer of fiberglass on, but we've got the uh, Alpine Type X running off the BC3500 there. So, uh, we'll go give it a run real quick, see how it does it. All right, we got it uh, in here mounted, ready to get tested off the uh, VC 3500 and two ohms. Let's get this thing cranked up here. Oh yeah! 
Just a tip of the day, I guess we'll add. Uh, so let's say you're eating lunch and uh, you had a big lunch and you only could eat half of your banana. So you could only eat half of your banana. Now there's only one thing to do is throw it in the trash, right? Not anymore. We are going to 16, cr uh, 16 ton crimp the freshness into this banana so you can come back to it years later. perfectly crimped and uh, if you're hungry later in the day you can come back to it it's not gonna be all brown but yeah enjoy your banana